Okay, today I'm going to figuring out how much you suck. So I invented a little suction meter with an accompanying program that tells you how much you suck. So as some of you may know, I was featured in CVX Live on August 5th in Salt Lake City and I took my little suction meter with me so that I could measure how much my fans sucked and I let you guys suck on it. So here's how this works. I just have two tubes here. This is the end that you suck on and I have a removable end here so everybody doesn't have to suck on the same thing. It's connected to a bottle so that there's a decent amount of volume that you have to suck out. And then I have it connected to a pressure sensor here. And then my pressure sensor I have connected to my computer. Okay, so right now I'm at atmospheric pressure. So this says around 14.7 PSI. I'm about at sea level right now, so that's exactly what it should read. Okay, so now as I suck on this, you'll see this bar graph go down reading my pressure. I also have the pressure right here. And then I also have a little reading that says how much you suck. So right now it's an atmospheric pressure, so I don't suck, so it says you don't suck. But as soon as I start to suck on it, So I kind of suck, and it's down to 11.8 PSI. I can keep going. So if people get down to the you suck point, then I typically gave them a sucker at CBX Live because they sucked. Oh, you let it go? You at least, look, you at least earned a sucker, so. <laughs> so essentially what's happening in this jar is you're sucking all of the air out of it and I'm measuring the pressure. So I've made a tiny vacuum chamber and I'll show you as I suck out the air in it what happens to this balloon. Okay, let's suck it down. Okay, I'll stop there. But you can see how the balloon got bigger and bigger as I reduced the pressure outside of the balloon. The pressure from the inside of the balloon caused it to get bigger. So as I debuted this at CVX Live, I was actually really surprised how much you guys sucked. So I kept track of the records that were achieved at CVX Live. There were two instances where the person was sucking so hard that it actually sucked the blood out of their tongue into the tube here. Okay, our last, per our last participant just got his, his tongue blood in here from sucking so low a pressure. <laughs> how's, your, how's your tongue feel? Stick it out. I it feels great. Anything. I'm really happy. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if I can taste right from the center where all the pressure was, but I mean, the rest of it's fine. <laughs> Watch your vlog. Silver and Zeus. Silver and Zeus, okay. Okay. As your tongue is on it, it's essentially exposed to the vacuum in the tube here, and so it can suck the blood out of your tongue. Even though there's no open wound on it or anything, the blood actually starts coming out of the tongue. Okay, so I kept track of the winners at CVX Live that came to my booth and sucked their hardest. So these are the top 20 people starting at around 6 PSI all the way down to our winner Duncan Kill who was at 1.96 PSI. And keep in mind this was in Salt Lake City so the pressure was around 2 PSI lower already there. So they had a little bit of advantage being at that low of a pressure but as it gets down to lower and lower in pressure it gets exponentially harder to suck. So, so I had a really lot of my suck. subscribers show up at my booth and showed how much they sucked. It was really fun. So one thing I want to point out on the sucking meter is how dependent it is on the volume that you're sucking. So what's really hard is how hard you have to suck and for how long you have to do it. It makes your jaw really tired. So at first I just had it set up where I had a tube hooked to my pressure sensor here and I didn't have this extra volume and it's actually really easy to get it down to pressure. You can see I'm just sucking on this small tube here. Oh, 0.29 PSI. 
So it's actually really easy to get it down to a very good vacuum. So that's getting down to a vacuum near what a vacuum pump can get to. And you can do it with just your mouth. But when you have to suck out this full volume, it's a lot harder and you get fatigued and nobody could get down to that low pressure even with this low volume. So remember, if you build your own how much do you suck meter, it's dependent on the volume that you have them suck. The lower the volume, the easier it is to get down to a lower pressure. All right, thanks for watching everyone. And thanks to all my subscribers and viewers that came to CVX Live to see me there and to see how much you suck. You really do suck. Some people actually sucked at sucking. They couldn't do it at all. It was kind of funny to watch. The lowest I could get down to was around six PSI. So the first place person that got like 1.9 PSI, I was very impressed. You can leave me some comments for any questions you have or any suggestions that you want to see me do next time. And if you're not subscribed yet, remember to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified when my latest video comes out. And I'll see you next time.